Well, I didn't think we played well. Obviously, the obvious thing is that offensively, it's not a good formula for my teams when you don't score 60 points um, and, and obviously have a chance to win the game. For whatever reason, I didn't think we were clicking offensively. Uh, give Miami's defense, maybe give those guys some credit for the way we didn't play on the offensive end. Uh, we've got to get better. You know, this is one of those games where, um, you know, usually we play a little bit better on the offensive end, but we just couldn't get going. And very seldom does it happen with us in two different halves. But, you know, typically we could find it in the second half, but we did not have it today. All right. Questions for Coach Keith? James, go ahead. Hey, Kevin, um, I think this might have been your first game since November where you had your your nine expected guys in the rotation that you talked about back in fall camp. Is that still something you're trying to work out the rotation with that group, just getting everybody back healthy and back involved? Well, it's not so much a rotation. We just we have them all physically ready to play, uh, meaning that they're cleared to play, but everybody is not ready to play. As you know, uh, Braxton is still with his um, ankle. We still have some guys who haven't got back in great shape. Uh, that being said, I like where we can go once we get everybody back, everybody healthy and everybody back on the right, you know, obviously playing good basketball. We just we just did not have it today, and I, I can't explain it. Uh, we got to figure it out. We got to flush it out of our system. We got to, you know, take a day off and try to get better and figure out how to play our next game. Thank you, Kevin. Right. Kevin, you uh, you guys held them scoreless for seven and a half minutes and scored 11 straight points there and kind of turned things around on the defensive end. And then they outscored you 14-5 to finish the game. Did you guys take your foot off the, the accelerator a little bit or what changed after that that run of seven and a half minutes there? You know, the crazy thing about it is, Brett, you, you said it. we scored 11 points and we still didn't reach 60. Uh, we just, like I said, I'll, I'll go back and I know I'll sound like a broken record uh, this was a game, one of those games where offensively we could not get going at all, even though we had some runs and some stretches, but we couldn't sustain for the entire period of time. And, you know, it's uh, a little disappointing um, the way we played on the offensive end. I think a lot of times with teams, um, a lot of other areas will suffer when you're not scoring the basketball. And I thought our energy level was really low. Was it a matter of settling for perimeter shots too much, or was it something that Miami was taking away the inside game? No, I just I don't I don't think I don't you know I don't think any of our main guys played good basketball today. I thought they were all just okay. I thought they were all just okay, and we didn't even have you know we didn't have that one guy that played well. When you look at the stat sheet, you know of course DJ had fourteen, and uh, I mean Thomas had fourteen, and then DJ had twelve. It looks like Devin had 11, but I didn't think any of those guys played great. Jonas? Coach, uh, DJ said the similarity between this game and the Clemson game late in the game with some mental lapses. Um, you said you would hope from the Clemson game the guys would learn from it. It's kind of frustrating to see some of those same mistakes pop up for the second straight game. Yeah, I, I don't I don't compare this one quite like the, you know, the Clemson game. I think they were totally different games because – and in the Clemson game, I thought both teams were really scoring the basketball. Um, obviously, we made some turnovers. My, my biggest thing for us today, Jonas, is that, man, we couldn't get going. I couldn't get a hot hand. I couldn't get anybody. Thomas Thomas made some, you know, a couple threes uh, for us. But, you know, I didn't, you know, it's a tough game when Manny's not playing well and uh, Devin's not playing well. And I thought DJ was just okay. And so we didn't get any of our seniors who played well to lead our younger guys. And when that happens, it's not a great formula to win the game. And, and DJ added, he said he felt like Miami was just was just tougher than us today. Um, that's a pretty honest assessment, but when you hear players make that out loud, is it accurate? Would you say you agree with that? Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna say they were tougher. I thought they made the tougher plays down the stretch. Um, I, I thought they made some good, you know, when you look at it, we get a good stop uh, on a jump shot. We give up a, a, a block out for a tip in. You know, those type of things, just the stuff that we need, the things that we need to do to win the game. And once again, you know, if if my team scores the basketball, it's probably a different outcome. But certainly we didn't do that. Justin? Coach, this is the second straight game where you guys commit 16 turnovers. And tonight, I think eight different guys had at least one turnover. 
Do you think as of recently the turnover situation on offense has been more mental or has it been something else? Yeah, you know, uh, Justin, that's something that we have to figure out. You know, we have lost a turnover battle, which is tough because we typically don't lose that. Uh, you know, when you look at us tonight, we had 11 assists and 16 turnovers. Uh, we've got to we've got to get in practice and really work on ball security. That was some of the things that we concentrated on the last couple of days. That's what we talked about going into the game. And you're right; it's so many guys is doing it that we all have to get up do a better job in that area. And 12 of those turnovers were in the first half. I know DJ mentioned in his availability that Miami punched in the clock at 12 noon and he didn't feel like this team did. I mean, did you kind of share those thoughts in the first half? Did, did you see a lack of urgency? No, I don't think it's a lack of urgency. What we talked about is that 12 noon games are tough games. And the team that walks in that's really ready to play. And I think every team prepared to play. But whoever can find the most energy at the beginning of the game is typically a team that's used that's going to win the game. Not that we didn't have energy. We just couldn't find the rim offensively. I don't know what it was. Um, and like I said, give I'll go back and say this. Miami won the game. Give them a lot of credit. Uh, you know, they're a team who have lost several games at the buzzer. Uh, could very well, you know, have a winning record in our league and Surely they find a way to win. They found a way to win today, and we found a way to lose. And so we got to figure out how to correct that, and we got to get back to winning the turnover battle. And, you know, that's the things that we got to get better at. James? Yeah, Kevin, uh, you mentioned Thomas' shooting uh, a minute ago. He was four or five from three today. Um, I think he was shooting 41% coming into the game. Is But he was only taking three attempts, I believe. Is he someone you want to maybe get more opportunity shooting the ball going forward? Yeah, James, he and I have had long conversations. He's got a green light, uh -huh. uh, but it, at times he won't take a shot. You know, it's um, and that's just the personality that he has. You know, he's um, he's getting the opportunity. You know, we need him to score the basketball, especially when he gets great looks. And, you know, we talked about that, you know, obviously going into this game, you know, obviously I want him to look for a shot. But he's a guy, he's a weapon that we, we want to explore, but I want him to take more shots behind the three-point line. Thanks.